Oh, hi. Welcome back. I'm glad you came back for another day of the exciting CO2 cars. Today, we're going to get out some notes. We're just going to take a few notes, and then we're going to get to work on designing our car. So, make sure you have your homework done and ready to check. You should have five thumbnail drawings, uh, just doodles, um, ready to go. And we're going to start our designs, which will hopefully be done and ready for tomorrow. Just a few things before we start our designs. First of all, I've got to set some restrictions. You have to use all four wheels. Okay, You've got two bigger wheels that go in the back, two thinner wheels that go in the front. Another one is that I want a minimum length of 8 inches for your car. That is from there to there, 8 inches. All right, uh, Your block of wood that you get, the, the length of your design can be up to 12 inches. Don't cut any off the back because the hole for the CO2 is already drilled. So if you take off any, take off inches off the front, please. And then whatever you design right now will be actual size. So our scale is going to be 1 to 1. So some suggestions. Don't go any thinner than a quarter of an inch. If it falls off the table, it might break. Uh, if you toss it in your tray at the end of the class period, it might break. Uh, break. The weight. You want to keep it heavy, but not too heavy. You want to keep it light, but not too light where it takes off like a plane. So you want to keep it grounded. One way we keep it grounded is we put eye screws, which are like right there. Okay? We put those eye screws, which are screws with circles on the ends of them, on the bottom of your car, one in the front, one in the back, so that it travels down a fishing line from start to, uh, from start to finish, uh, hopefully staying in a straight line. Have fun with it. Be original. Make sure that your wheels touch the ground and spin easily. Okay? You want to make sure that they move really nice and smooth. Alright, so first of all, with the CO2 car designs, each student, please use a pencil. And remember, you're going to draw it to actual size. The three things you must include. Shape, color, wheel placement. Don't forget your name. So each one of you are going to get a piece of paper that looks like this. The dotted dash line going down the middle is your center line. The dotted lines going here represent the um, CO2 where the hole is already drilled. This thick black line right here going diagonally across is the block of wood. Again, please get your name on it. So here's your block of wood, and here's your paper, and you can see what's on top goes on top, on the side goes on the side. So it is going to be actual size. One inch on your paper equals one inch on your design. All right, so I'm going to show you how to design in fast forward. First of all, you're going to want to make sure it's eight inch minimum. And I like to start mine at the front and then work my way to the back. Make sure you keep your top view balanced along with the center line. The length on the top view should match the length with the side view. After I finish the top view, I'm going to start on my side view. When I get the shape drawn, I'm going to make sure I add my wheels. I'll just put a little dot for the center of the front wheel and a dot for the center for the back wheel. And the last thing I'm going to want to add is color. And you can draw a marker or colored pencil. Make sure you have shape, color, and wheel placement. Good luck. 